My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Hearthstone Solo Adventures, specifically the Ruin City wing of the League of Explorers. Oh, it's time to go into this. Let's do some scouting out. It's time to go into heroic mode for Lord Slither Spear. Nothing about the hero power appears to have changed, at the very least for the description, but I'm going to have to guess instead of a 1-1 Naga, it's going to be a 3-3 Naga, and I don't get to change your hero power because I can't save Sir Finley. Interesting. I think I'll actually keep this hand. I'm a little intimidated. Okay. It's 1-1. One, one. Really? So, I know every single time Endless Hunger is used, it triggers one with, oh, so it's not one more attack, it's now plus one attack and plus one health. That's really important as a distinction. That's very, very important. Because that means the next is a 3-3. Three, three, and we're going to get quickly to the point that I can't deal with any of them anymore. We're almost there already, actually. Justice, our true heart. Huh. This hero power must be used every turn. So I wonder, can I actually stop it from being used? Or it must be used every turn? Is it, like, compelled to? Ah, uh, good thing I've got the Execute for that. Whew. That'd be a right bitch if it didn't. Yeah, I can't... I can't outlast this at the moment, because... Ooh, the Slithering Guard's even bigger. Yeah, I really can't outlast this. What are my options? What are my options? I don't really have options. At a certain point, big target removal is going to be amazing. I guess I look forward to that. Okay, it's Brawl. Uh-huh. So I can... I can't slam shield... Uh, sorry, bash shield slam to kill it. Which is the most annoying part here. If my opponent doesn't have any damage in hand, I can Alex Stralis myself. Give your opponent a cursed card. While this is in your hand, take two damage at the start of your turn. Well, we're dead. <laughs> Alright. They've got water elementals in their deck, and then they've got the minions that just build up over time. At a certain point, I believe it's turn 7 or turn 5, uh, they just get to the point that it's like, fuck it, I'm just going face for lethal. No, 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 they, sorry, they play, they play taunt minions, so we can't go face for lethal. That's what I meant. So... How do I counter a deck like that? Well, first off, we actually do need to burst them down, which is interesting, because that's not usually encouraged. So we do need to kill them very, very, very quickly. So I'm thinking it's either Hunter or Warlock. Uh, they do have minions that do damage to all of our minions, so Hunter with the spells is probably a better idea. Hmm. 
So, double wet spinner, double glaive zooka, obviously. Double hunter's mark, double arcane shot seems good. Double explosive trap is going to need to be in there. So, he's double freezing trap. Quick shot, just standard, obviously. Animal companion again, standard. Kill command, standard. Uh, I probably should put deadly shot in there as well, actually. And at least one power shot for the early game. Unleash the hounds, I'm thinking at least one as well, maybe two. Double hound master, obviously. Again, one. Multi shots, fine. Savannah? I don't know if Savannah's gonna be good enough. Alright, let's look at the crafting cards, see if there's anything in here that I'm just missing that I could have. What? I've got a golden power shot? I don't need that. Uh, snake trap? No, maybe lock and load, but I'd like to get away without having to make a lock and load. I don't like golden cards. Ball of spiders is a lot of... But late game, we... Late game, we can only cast spells to try and win the game, right? That's all that's gonna work. So, Naga, Naga specifically, is there anything I can do with the fact it's a Naga? Not really. Not that I can see, at least. Double Wargan's a good idea. Flip it. No, it's not gonna help me. Gonna need... Oh, God. I'm too full. Okay, power shots going out, multi shots going out. We need more aggression. Uh, Savannah High Mains are going out, Double Hound Masters going in. Doomsay would be good for an aggressive deck if I was doing that. Double Knife Juggler and, and double Iron Beak is a good idea as well. Okay, double of those out, double that out. I'm gonna need Mad Scientists to pull out some of these secrets. Yeah, I need the secrets, actually, so I do need the Mad Scientists. Hunter's Mark, I never want to run into their minions. Which means I don't need Explosive Trap. So I buy myself more space in my deck. And... Wolf Rider is one of the cards that goes in here. Arcane Golem. I mean, I don't care... Oh, I do care about my opponent getting Mana Crystals, actually. Because as soon as they get those five sevens on the field, I'm fucked. So I guess that means I do want to go with the three mana charge. Mind control tech could be... Oh man, a golden death wing. Congratulations. Uh, mind control tech could be awesome. Look at this. Look at this scum fuckery. Fucker fi? What? There we go. What? And I haven't even got the M in there. How did I goddamn type that? Scum fuckery. Perfect. Well, let's try it. <sighs> Hopefully this one doesn't work. I'm gonna feel bad if it does. Oh, that's heroic, Lord Slitherspear to you. Something of mine is here. Well, it's not mine yet, but it will be. I don't know how I feel about this is my early hand. I don't need to draw cards as much as I need something with damage on the field. Not the one that deals two damage to all enemies, please. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Well, now I'm seeing the value of the explosive traps that I took out of my deck. One mana. 
I have to just smork the entire time. See, I always want to control the board, but you have to smork. Well, I'm glad he didn't bounce the slithering archer back, otherwise we would have lost the game. Oh, it took a full three mana to play that. Again, nice. Mm-hmm. 3-3 three, three into my 4-3. Oh, King Crush. Good to see you. Unfortunately, King Crush is actually horrible for me right now because it's stopping me from being able to play the quick shot and get my card. Oh. There's the silence when I need it. And we lose. There's no way that this is going to be fast enough to win. Yeah, we can't... We can't live through until lethal right now. Almost done. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's so over. Okay. So that doesn't work. Deal with your opponent getting bigger minions all the time. First off, if they're going to have a lot of minions on the field, we need to steal their minions. Secondly... It's a really good way to steal their minions, mind control tech. That goes in every deck, obviously. Going for their face does need to happen. You can't just have them run out of minions. Because they'll just hero power every single turn and build another minion. I don't know if there's any limit to it. I don't know if they get to fucking 100-100 if you let the game con uh, keep on running. So we do need removal as well. But we need board-wide, like, instant removal. So that's, that's like Paladin using... Oh no, but I can't use a quality plus Pyromancer, otherwise I'll kill everything, including my own. So a quality Consecration works, but then a quality sets off my opponent's ability to kill my entire board. Let's just look through all of the class cards first and just see if there's anything that strikes. Anything that we can look at and go, that could be good. Darnassus Aspirant's probably not going to die before the turn it gets to be useful. Astral Communion's certainly too slow. Uh, only spell I've seen my opponent use is a freezing. is a frost thing. So Jungle Moonkin's probably better for me than it will ever be for them. Force of Nature Savage Raw, obviously a decent way to finish the game. And you've got a decent ability to heal yourself, build big taunts. Can try and do a Ramp Druid control druid type thing this just doesn't work this deck just does not work sorry it won't uh need too many cards really to do this one uh with them generating a bigger minion every turn for free you can't just do freeze mage especially considering the health stat that they have so just skip past that. This is the one, obviously, that I've been looking at. Humility is pretty good. Sacred Trial is pretty good in this as well, I assume. Quality. Could you go some sort of super aggressive... 
Paladin. Probably not. I'm thinking Control Paladin's likely much better. Keep Reval Demands, keep them low. Anything can happen would not be horrible as just like a one include if they were Murlocs in my opponent's side. Hmm. So here's where control usually comes from. Priests. Shadowed Pain, not that great. Resurrect, not that great. It's a buff. So it's a buff that's giving them all of the attack. So silences... It's really, 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 really powerful. Silences are really powerful. Which means that Master Spell is actually incredible. It's really interesting, actually. Master Spell and Light Bomb are really, 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 really good. Yeah, I think I have to go with the Priest deck. Alright, let's kill this Custom Priest and make a new one. Light Bomb and Master Spell are just going to be too powerful. So, let's look at a standard Priest Control deck. What do you put in a standard Priest Control deck? I'm thinking probably not Dragon Control. I can't afford to put that many elements in here. So, Master Spell, going to have to include two of. But obviously, that doesn't go to standard one, but I just have to include two of specifically for this one. Uh, Vol'jin always is going in there. Double Light Bomb is going in. I would like to have at least one mind control, um, but that is very, very assumptive. Oh, definitely sure I'm going to get to the late game. <sighs> Double power word shields, obviously. I feel like silence is probably a good idea as well. For the really annoying late game ones, hopefully I don't draw it in the early game at all. Light of the Naru, I've got Arcanized Soul Priest in, so there's reason not to. Same with the Arcanized Soul Priest, I've got the Circle of Healing that I'll include. If I've got healing in my deck, I've got Norshia Clerics, obviously, for the guard draw. Uh, Shrinkmeister. No, I want something with a higher health stat than an attack stat in the early game. Shadow Boxer might not even that bad. We can double Shadow of Death as well. Double Holy Nova. Now I've got to start cutting things because Holy Fire is not good enough. But there's very, very obvious includes that need to be in here. So first off, my two drop slot, way too weak. Way, way too weak. I'll take two silences out. I can't actually afford them. I'll have to have a minion summoned alongside them if I'm going to be silencing something. So my idea is I kind of want to just leave their board as a 1-1-1-1-1-1, one, 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 one. like just a bunch of 1-1s one, ones and make it difficult for them to summon anything big at any point. I definitely want early game. So I'm putting the zombie chows in. I'm thinking double Amani as well, actually. Got too many things in the one-drop slot. But those, those aren't really one-drop plays. Neither of these are one-drop plays. Obviously, that's not being played on one mana. I think I take the Shadow Word. No, I need the Shadow Word Deaths out for the big... The actual big taunt minions. Holy Nova is probably the least impressive of all of these. Double Amani. But the thing is, there's still some more cards that need to be in here. I'm thinking specifically about uh, I am Big Owl. I'm thinking specifically about where's the other one? It's 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 I am Big Owl and there was another one. Oh, mind control tech, of course. Double mind control tech has to be in this deck. I think I can go lose the Dark Cultists for the Mind Control techs. 
And the other one was the Iron Beak Owls also need to be in here for some extra silence power. Especially on big late game targets. I'm thinking Double Shadow Boxer has to go out. If I'm going to keep the Zombie Chows and the Yamani Berserker, I'm going to have to rely on those being the early game. Okay, and this is going to be called... He's not the Naga, is he? No, he's Hungry Naga, he is. So, Naga Slayer. Okay, solo adventures. Let's go back in. Good lord, this one's not that easy. Lord Slither Spear. Best of luck, Slither Spear. Excavating evil, breaking the staff. I need to top deck uh, Master Spell later. Not too much later, but later. Well, at least I got a one drop, so this isn't entirely lost as a hand. Probably use my hero power. Oh dear. Unfortunately, mind control tech is such a big part of my plans that I do need to keep it. Maybe I controlled their early game a little much. Yeah, maybe. The spirits be restless. The spirits be restless. I think it's unlikely that they go for the kill here. I enjoy raiding. Oh. I would quite enjoy raiding. Can I get some raiding? I kind of want to kill that first. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator. Here come the wound. In the last name. Okay. There's the Slytherin Guard, that's what the Light Bomb is for. Sorry, that's what the Shadow of Death is for, rather. I'm gonna need bounces as well. I need more than two. My uh, sorry, I need more than two mind control techs in the entire deck. It's not enough. I mean, I have to play that, otherwise I die. And then attack their light bomb, clear the entire board. No, well, if I'm gonna do that, I may as well attack here and then double attack face and then light bomb. Oh, come on. 
All right, yeah, we need bounces, so that means that our early game needs to be replaced with bounces, and we need to make space in the four drop slot for bounces as well. Would this be better as a rogue with shadow steps? No, because rogue's removal so heavily relies on them using their own face. You know what it is? We have too much early game. North Shear Cleric is card draw. Zombie Chow, you need to get out. So does Amani Berserker. We have too much early game. We don't want to kill their early game minions. That's not the point of our deck. Uh, where's the Bounce Master? Bounce Master General. Where are you? There we are. That's the youthful bounce master, and then let's get the old bounce master in here as well. Old bounce master? What? Am I missing something? Old bounce master not here? Oh, never mind, it was the first one. Okay. Let's try that deck again. Good lord, this guy is not easy. I can envision this taking an hour or two. Because I'm still, like, I'm finding little, little things that I can do. Silence all of them. Right, that's cool. Light bomb. Cool. But those are so late game, I'm almost dead by the point that I get to enact either of those. Velen's Chosen is a bad idea as well. Why is it relevant to my deck? It isn't. Excuse me? Sorry, apparently I forgot to mulligan, that's weird. Okay, they're summoning their own minions, which means mind control tech played on curve will get something. Which is nice. Oh, come on. Really? Is someone injured? Lame. All right. Here we go. Eh, second best minion I could have gotten. Mm-hmm. Water Elemental is annoying, I have to admit that. Thank you. Vol'jin is really good in this deck. Uh-huh, there's why I have that Shadow of Death in my deck. Bounce Master's no longer good. Mm-hmm. Taking so much face beats. In the light's name. Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm taking way too much face beats in the early game. Okay, so I need to slow them down a lot. Now, I don't know if this will work. I don't know if they'll bypass it somehow, but Saboteur needs to go into this deck. Velen's Chosen doesn't actually do anything, so Saboteur. Because I don't know if this will actually work. That's why I haven't done it yet. Where are you? 
No, that's Light's Champion. Uh, I also need to craft another one, I guess. It's fine. I'll need another Saboteur eventually, so we're fine. It's so difficult to consider this as a control challenge when your opponent plays just a bigger minion every time. You can't do anything about it. What, like, do you want them to fill the board with small minions and then you just heal the entire time? How is that how it works? Like, I can just nullify one of the opponents with power word, um... Power word, power word. Power word, glory. The one that heals me. <sighs> Great. Bounce master without the bounce lord. This is lame. Greetings. Might have to play the bounce master, actually. Yep. Okay, I got three other bounce masters in the deck. Okay, having draw cards in the other game isn't that bad for me. Really would love to have been able to play Saboteur that turn. Okay, it's time for science. Please work. Shall we put a kink in their plans? Still says it costs zero. No, it says it costs five. They didn't cast it. They didn't cast it. Fucking excellent. We establish a foothold on the board. Uh, fuck. Has to be light bomb plus attack with this. I can sacrifice this and then Circle of Healing for card draw. I need the cards at this point. That's... Oh, got so many problems. Light of the Anru. Okay. Light of the Anru is apparently the way that I pronounce that. I enjoy raiding. I enjoy raiding. So my understanding is if you use Light of the Naru to kill something... Do I want to do it like that, or do I silence this? Because that's the that's the obvious kill. And then I silence that and attack it? That's not bad, actually. Then I can do that for a card draw. Ah, uh, Master Spell is good. And... That also. Circle of Healing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on! Alright. Shall we put a kink in the plans? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing can die, so I get to mind control tech, then master spell. Heal the board first. Okay. Shadow of Death I need to keep, unfortunately. Uh, Vol'jin has like the easiest swap of all time. I should mostly just establish the Arcanine Soul Priest to get another minion on board. The seas belong to us. <sighs> Thank you. Do I need to hit it with that? Yeah, unfortunately I do. I can't commit two minions into it. Get that out of my hands. Start bopping in with some face damage. Mm -hmm. One more minion. Come on. Um, hmm. Well, this has to happen indiscriminate of everything else. Kind of want to kill you. So I put a total of 15 damage into the face this turn, or I can put 12. 12 puts him down to 11. That's no reason. Well, I... No, it's not 12. Oh, it could be 12. It could be 12. Attack. Okay, that's good. It's actually not that bad. Okay. Now this is how I wanted this to work out. Not not anymore. Not, not anymore. Fuck. Uh, that's lethal, right? Yeah, I youthful bounce master you, silence that, and then just go for the kill. Uh, also might as well just kill one. Just for funsies. <laughs> Well played, Heroic Slither Spear. Well played. Whew. That was not an easy way to do that. All right, I should screenshot that deck. Where are we? Naga Slayer, perfect. And then for the other ones, I used the Anti Mech Lock and Control Warrior, the Wallet Warrior, which I already have a screenshot of. Excellent. Just making sure that I've saved them all. Scumfuckery can get deleted because it didn't work out. And I guess I can just delete that. That's also another scumfuck deck, so I'll just delete that as well. Perfect. Alright. I envisioned that one going on much longer than 40 minutes. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hearthstone. That has been the Solo Adventures League of Explorers. Specifically, the Ruined City. We went up against the Heroic Naga Dude. What was his name? Heroic Lord Slitherspear. And destroy the hell out of him. 
with a priest control deck. It will be linked in the description down below. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. Uh, there's also a playlist in the description down below as well, just in case you want to check those out. And we'll see you, hopefully, next time.